distinguished athletes, NGOs, friends, thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you so much, Eileen, for inviting me to present what we do in International Federation for Family Development. Our main job is to educate parents. And right now, my colleague, Georgia Durante, is giving you this book, Activity Report, that explains what we do in the practical terms. So I would like to look, for you to look at it, and many things, you know, some of the things that I'm going to explain today, you will find here in examples in the countries where we are. And my talk today is going to be basically practical. What are we doing to help families? Well, first to help parents, to help families, to help society, to help the world. So I just tried to find some images that would express, would show you an image what I want to say. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope Mm -hmm. You're with me that it is so important to educate parents in this job of making and building strong families. So I'm going to start with the first with the first picture. I picked this because, um, and of course, we've been talking all morning about how important <coughs> family is. But we all agree that each person in the planet belongs to a family. No matter if we're small, big, rich or poor, well-known or unknown, you belong to a family. And if you can look at this presentation right now from the perspective of a parent, if you are a parent, or if you're not a parent, think in your parents and see if, you can, if we can find a connection through it. Who we are, who we are right now, depends in, gra in great, I don't know, we don't know how to do Spanish, sorry. <laughs> it depends a lot on what family we grew up in and how what our parents treated us, we had the example in many examples today. And in the video that Ignacio Sofia was showing us, the children look at the parents all the time. And it marks who they will be in the future. So can we agree that building better people is necessary to build a better world? Can we all agree on that? Yes. Thank you. So if, that, if we can all agree on that, let's go to the next one. I found this picture saying everybody talks about leaving a better planet for the children. Why nobody tries to leave better children to the planet? Well, I agree on the first sentence that, you know, it is necessary to have a good planet for children and that's why the environmental policies and all these things are so important. But I even agree that nobody tries to leave better children in the planet. As a matter of fact, who do you think are the first individuals that are trying to leave better children to our planet? Parents. <laughs> she said it. Parents. Uh, then we have also teachers and people, but the first ones are the parents. So, hello, parents. <laughs> if you're a parent, I am also a mother. Not only I have been representative, but I am a mother of four children. So, now is the time to talk about our job as parents. Because no matter what title we have, in terms of a family, we are all in the same level. So, we're speaking the same language. No one is more than another. We are all the same. And that's what I love about my job of working with families. That we are all the same. No matter how important our job is, professionally speaking, how much money we make, how little money we make, when we are parents and we are in a family, we are all the same. So I like the idea of equality. 
in there, in families. So, as you know, being a parent is a full-time job. <laughs> I found this picture, I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. And it said, plus overtime. Mm -hmm. It is true. Parents deal with decisions involving education, health, finances, work-family balance, and social living. Many, many, many decisions go through parents. The government's help, help providing everything a family needs, but the final decisions in how a family runs, it's, it, it's decided by the parents. So um, if you are a parent, you know that you are the CEO of your family business. And you know, I don't know exactly what you have studied, uh, how many degrees you have, but many of us, to do the jobs that we want to do today, we've had to pass many courses, get degrees, and accomplish many things before we even started. But when you become a parent, what do we do for that? It's one of the most important jobs we have as we see in the relationship of thanks to families, we can have a better world. So if our professional job, whatever we're doing, is important in that specific field, we have another very important job that is to help the world by helping our own family. So what are we doing to learn, to learn how to be a parent? Did we really understand that that's so important? Are we studying? Are we going to a course? Are we getting a degree on that? Well, and it's true that many times, you know, you go, if you're pregnant or your wife is pregnant and you have a baby, you go to the hospital and suddenly the baby in your arms, and, it's like, and you think, well, now what? What do I do? And it's at that moment when you think, well, I need to read books. I need to think of what my parents did with me and what is the good way. Then you get home, the baby's crying all night. You cannot sleep. The next day, you your patience is out of it. And, and you're trying to think how people do it. You know, can I do this again? So there are so many questions and so many things to learn. And, you know, and in IFFB, we're trying to help those parents that want to learn, that they are open to learn and to do their job very well done. So we get a lot of parents that say help, but help not because they find themselves in a huge problem or in a huge issue situation. They want help because they want to know how to do it well. As a matter of fact, our programs are not therapeutic, are not therapy, but are a programs for learning. Many times we see the family as a, the place where all the issues and the bad things happen, so you know we all need therapy. Um, I'm, I'm more inclined to go to from the positive side to think that we can learn to do it well so we don't get into the problems already. So more in a preventive point of view. And so we provide family enrichment courses in up to 65 countries in the world. I'll show you later in the picture. And we use the case methodology. Why we use the case methodology? We are against going and give a speech. We don't give lectures. We help parents really get hands on into the situations. One family, no, two families are not alike in the world. So each family, and I like what just Susan said about let's take help families one at a time. Why one at a time? 
because her family and my family are not the same. And even we live in the same city and we have the same number of children or, and each family has its own situations. So what we do is instead of telling people what to do, blah, 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 do this, do that, go here, go there, we give them the tools so they can make the choices that they want and they need. All right, so what happens is that many, there are many lectures on parenting or in what to do. And you go to one of those lectures and if you're a mother or a father, you take a ton of notes. You like those notes very much. You think, oh, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna do all of that. But then you get home and you say, well, and how do I apply this to my real life? Like we were talking before, you know, every day. So, um, I found this picture of this, the learning pyramid. And if you look at the top of the pyramid, it says, it says read. people generally remember when you read something good, you remember 10% of it. If you hear 20%, if you watch videos or images, 30%. Of what you see, exhibits, demonstrations. So in our IFFB courses, we focus in the bottom of the pyramid. We make parents analyze situations, define problems, or define you know good and positive, positive and negative things that are happening in that family, and create a list of solutions and then evaluate how that is going at home. So once you tell them, many people don't like that at the beginning because you have to work. When you come to our courses, you don't just sit down and listen. You actually have to work and get hands on. Uh, I can also speak about that because I'm not only the president of Family Enrichment in New York area helping provide all these courses here, but I have also attended these courses as a student, as a parent. So, you know, I started thinking that my family was very nice and I had a good, you know, a good marriage and good children. And then you realize how much more you can learn, how much better you can do. And there is always room for improvement. I know that from the Americans, they say that. <laughs> um, so, I'm almost done. The case study method, we copied that from many business schools, one of them is Harvard. And if you watch this video inside the case method, it's exactly what we do in our courses. They talk about business, but if you watch this video thinking that your business is your family, it is exactly that. I encourage you to watch it. It's 15 minutes, but it's really, really nice. And this is a picture of the world and where are we providing these courses right now. And I believe in this methodology so much that I would love that everybody could, you know, get to, to attend those when they have a child. It helps a lot the family. And even if we go, you know, the good thing also is that countries, for example, from Africa, if you compare, we use the same course with the same case, with the same the scenario, change a few details. In Africa, let's say, and you, passing through Spain or in the United States. At the end, we all have struggles in the family. Many don't have even the basic things to live, but some others have too many things and may not have the parents around. So um, one way or another, there is always things to think about and to solve in the family. And the book that I gave you gives a lot of examples of cities where we have done work. 
um, C62 countries, 1,720 family teaching moderators. The moderators are the teachers, which are not teachers, are the ones that provide, guide the discussion between parents. 629 family enrichment courses are being, were held in 2013. 22,950. I know the courses were this long. Yeah, I can, I can, I can read it. It is also in the book. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you can consider taking one of these courses if you're a parent or you're a human. Thank you so much. <laughs>